going to meet us yes. at the grave site, which is a long ways away. Amen. And they'll honor her there. He said, see, we're not her biological children. Mm -hmm. We were foster children. Yeah. And she took us in. Yeah, she did. And raised us like her own. Yeah, she did. I want to I wanna dispel something that may be in the atmosphere, Brother Fred, so you can live the rest of your life knowing how perfect your God is and to this daughter. You were not fostered. Right. You were loved. Right. Yeah. 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 Foster means that somebody on the outside mm -hmm. took you for a reason for something you were missing on the inside. Mm -hmm. But she had something on the inside on. that enabled her to love everything on the outside. Yeah. All right, all right. And not only did she love Fred with your dark self looking darker than me. Oh, Fred. That's all right. Fred one shade from a raisin in. <laughs> you look at the caramel daughter here. But her love was pioneering also. Not only love. did she live in other communities <laughs> where her skin color wasn't welcomed, but she adopted foster children that didn't look anything like Fred. Right. He stood here with pride and he said, I have two white brothers. <laughs> Which means that she had something in her before yeah. a lot of us even knew what it was. Yeah. That's yeah. love that transcends beyond racial barriers. Right. Meaning that when I'm operating with the love of Christ, I don't see race. All right. yes, Lord. I don't see the boundaries of hatred. Right. All I see is love. love. Yeah. Somebody say, all I see is love. Yeah. And when you see love, love covers a multitude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It covers things that the average person couldn't tolerate. If you want to know if a person loves you, mess up in their presence. If they like you, they put you down. But if they love you, they'll correct you and put you where you need to be. Y'all the one that told me whatever she was thinking. Oh, yes, she will. Oh, God. I love real people. Somebody shout real people. Uh, Miss Martin, you lived with her your entire life. I imagine there was plenty of times she told you just what she thought. You cannot look at this obituary and not see that she was born in 1927. Dr. Fletcher will tell you we are assembled in this very room many days and we don't get a whole lot of people that God graced with over 90 years of life. Matter of fact, young ladies, a lot of folks we get aren't even your age. But the Bible says in this text, it's a promise from God that if there's a righteous lifestyle, if you esteem him and hold him, if you call on him, he's going to answer you. Somebody look at your neighbor and say, God has answered me when I've called on him. See, in this room, I've come to know in my spirit that there's some folk in here that know the Lord. I'm not talking about just Pastor Evans and First Lady Evans and Dr. Fletcher, folk I know who are saved and sanctified and got a heap of different ghosts. I feel the presence of God in some of your lives in here today. And you understand that in order for us to get from where we are to where the God of grace and mercy allowed her to be, you're going to have to call on him sometime. Oh, yeah, and listen yeah, to this. Yeah. You're not going to just have to call on him. You're going to have to accept some answers you don't like. All right. All right, now. There's going to be some things that are not favorable to your ears. Yeah. Like being 90 years old and growing up at a time when folk didn't like her because of her skin color. But later on in that same life, you're going to take those very same people and bring them in your house. I'm almost done. You should have shouted right there. You can live and love with the people who have your DNA. But yet she transcended beyond what this earth did. And she got in tune with the God who loves you in spite of. You can sit there with your fancy clothes on if you want to. If God didn't love you in spite of, we all would be trouble. We wouldn't be in trouble. We would be trouble. But because because of grace and mercy. Grace and mercy. Because of God's love. I told people God loves me because he doesn't know how to love. He is love. He is. There's a difference love. between knowing how to love. Because if I know how to love you, I can also know how to unlove you. But when I am love, that's the very essence of my being. I'm created to do nothing but love. That's why God can look at your mess and bring a message out of your life. That's why you can be in the valley and God still see you in the mountain. That's why you can act a fool and God take your foolishness and turn it into wisdom because God has nothing for you but love. I don't care what you've done, how many times did she mess up? In over 90 years I couldn't count them, but I know a God that's on her heart. And I heard it. I'm almost done. I'm almost done. I'm looking at the text. The Bible says that if you can do and if you can be I'm paraphrasing what you have laying here in the front of the room I'm going to make you a promise. Yeah. 
And I serve a God that's a promise keeper. Yes, yes. Whenever he says something, he will do it. He will. Yes. Not only will he do it, you will live to see it come to pass. Yes. Fred, you're sitting there today. Carmen, you're sitting there today. Daughter, you're sitting there today because God kept his word. Yes. He said, if you do this, I'm going to do that. And I don't know who in this room is waiting on God to do something, but this is a this and a that lifetime. Yes. What are you saying, man of God? God is showing himself more true and more manifest, manifested today than I've seen in my entire life. He's graced me to be here for over 50 years. And in this life, I have never seen the hand of God moving like it's moving now. I've never seen God show up with signs and wonders. I've never seen God show up against sin like... Yeah. I've never seen people understanding that righteousness and holiness are back in style and that you just can't live any kind of way and expect to get where she is today. I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your toes, slide them up under your chair. I'm almost done. But God is a promise keeper and he is going to do what he said he's going to do. Baby, whether you like it or not, he's calling a roll. And if your name ain't on it, you won't even know about it. I'm almost there, so let me stop. 1927, God graced this earth with a magnanimous personality that y'all call Fanny. That's what you call her. He took her from creation when she accepted him as her Lord and Savior, and he called her daughter. Oh, God, help me. I'm almost out of here. He said, before you accepted me, you chose to be a foster child. But from the moment you made me your Lord and Savior, ain't nothing about you fostered anymore. From the moment you allowed my love to be what you desired, I keep you a promise. Fanny, if you can love like I love and give like I give and serve me, I'm going to answer you when you pray. But more importantly than that, pioneer. More importantly than that, trendsetter. Right. More importantly than that, woman who doesn't see race. More importantly than that, woman who doesn't have to give birth. More importantly than that, I'm going to give you long life. I'm going to make you a promise that will last long life. I'm going to satisfy you. Why did your mother say here so long, friend? Because she was not a pioneer just of living in other zip codes. She was not just a pioneer of taking in this and taking in that. No, she was a pioneer of the love of God on the earth. So you can't be false to right. Because God gave her purpose. And her purpose was to represent him. He gives everybody in this room purpose. But until you accept his will. Yeah. And allow him to manifest his will through your life. Yes. His will and his purpose cannot be, be made perfect on the earth. Yes. Yes. So I stop by to tell you this. Oh, Ain't no foster children in this house. Right. Ain't no white brothers waking up in this for them. It ain't nothing but the love of God in this room. She saw all of you just like she sees Miss Martin, her sister, as the love of God on the earth. Yeah. With long life, long will I satisfy people? Yeah. Yeah. And he is a promise keeper. If you don't believe me, look at the front of the room. Over 90 years of love, life, and legacy. And we give God praise for it. Come on, sing all across the house as we celebrate. Come on, continue to celebrate this magnanimous like personality. This woman of grace and glory. Miss Fanny. Amen. Do you feel better now? Amen. Bible says, songwriter said, one glad morning. When this life is over, I'm going to fly away. Look at your neighbor and say, where are you flying to? You got to have a destination. When this life is over, I'm going to fly away. You go on, Auntie Fanny, Mama Fanny, Sister Fanny. Keep on flying. Because you made your decision what direction or what destination you were going to have. Won't you give God praise with your hands? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. The poor family is coming at this time. We are. Her, her final resting place is quite a ways away. So just ain't me that family's gonna be going. They don't want to labor you that far. They're gonna have a private internment uh, at, at a destination a long ways from here. And so we want you to prepare your hearts in prayer for them 
as they complete this journey. Amen. 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 We we need three ladies. If we could have three ladies, please uh, come assist us with the flowers. God bless you, daughter. God bless you. God bless you. Beloved, I want you to look around. Make sure you have all of your belongings. Just go to that lady in the aisle. That, that lady in the aisle. Just go to her and she'll lead you. I want you to look to your left, to your right, beneath your seat. Make sure you have all your belongings. We will not be returning. 